gentlemen welcome back to yet another blind playthrough from yours truly mr technodrome and today we are going to have a look at outer wilds man this is gonna be technodrome in space yours hello and welcome back to the show I'm extremely happy to have you along for the ride, man. For those who do not know, let me explain. Outer Wilds. It's another one of those... At least I think it's another of those games that I started to call Jaws games. And Jaws games terrify me to the core of my being. Basically, a Jaws game is games like Below, Rain World, games where you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, but you're doing it because it's cool. And all of these experiences so far have been awesome, really awesome, and I expect this to be something uh, similar to those. Uh, Probably not in game style, hey? We're going 3D this time. Yeah, I mostly play 2D games, you know me, I'm a simple man. But it's time. It's time to embrace space, man. It's gonna be cool. Outer Wilds. It is developed by Mobius Digital and published by Annapurna. Interactive, man. Annapurna? Uh... I've heard that some place before, man. It rings a bell. Annapurna. I'm not sure if they did Abzu, the diving game. I'm not sure if they published that as well. Don't quote me on that. They might have. Good luck, man. Jaws. Thank you. I think I'm gonna need it, man. Space exploration. It's gonna be something else. Well, I know basically nothing about this game. Except that you're supposed to explore space, I think. And I don't know. Figure out stuff. Doing puzzles. We're gonna see. We will see. Uh, it's probably gonna be... Um, I don't know, I think this is a long game, not sure, so this might take a while, especially with my expertise in these games, uh, this might be a longer playthrough, and I'm gonna try to do it justice, take my time, try to learn, read, understand, and not just go, um, go crazy, like I usually do, I usually just go crazy, doing stuff that I'm not supposed to, Going left instead of right. Yeah, you know me by now. You know me. What have you been up to, Jaws? Are you playing anything fun nowadays? Well, are you still going crazy with that game? Nuclear Throne? Man, I always forget the name. I think it's something like that. Do some homework, alright, alright. Nice. Nice, Jaws. This is... I don't know. I like this option screen or welcoming screen here. It's very... It's... Calming. In a very strange way. I really like it. It's, uh... It's cozy, man. Well, I did uh, play test the game and I hope I found a decent spot for my camera. We'll see, I'll probably have to move it around like usual, but hey, at least I tried, huh? And since this is the first part of the playthrough, if anything is weird, if there's anything you need me to change, like the audio, the camera, let me know so we can fix it before we ruin the entire experience. For all of us, huh? Alright, options menu, man. 
I had a little little uh, look in through here. I didn't find much that I needed to change at all. I mean, everything looks quite good. I had to drop the graphics slightly because I was getting some uh, frame rate issues running the game at the beginning. Uh, I don't know, it might be more taxing than uh, what I thought originally. But this is what I'm playing at and I hope it will do fine. If we run into any more stutters, I will just drop whatever. Probably the resolution. Um, I want the game to run smooth, no hiccups. That always, I don't know, it ruins the experience when you get big frame rate stutters. But otherwise, we're gonna go with not that one. Whoops. Uh, switch profile, Technodrome. Alright. Yeah, frame rate is very important. Yeah, it is, man. And, like, that's the main re reason I went and built myself a computer. Because I couldn't handle the consoles uh, last generation, especially in the beginning. Everything was extremely uh, weird. They tried to go for uh, unlocked frame rate and the games would go like this. And some of them were running at like 25. It, it was just weird, man. And playing Dark Souls 3, I just had enough. I decided to buy a computer. I didn't want to ruin the game, man. I love Dark Souls. I really do. And I wanted to play it, like, in 60. Solid. That's all I wanted. And I always said, if you give me a console with 60 FPS, I would buy it. I would buy it. Yeah, Bloodborne, it runs at 30. It was still a really good game. But if it would have been 60, it would have been awesome. Uh, but at least they locked it to 30. <laughs> Instead of having it going between like 20 and 40. Up and down, you know. And who knows? If we're lucky, we're gonna get a... Remaster or something of Bloodborne on uh, PlayStation 5. That might be, might happen actually. I hope it does. Where they just, hey, here we go. Play it. Enjoy. Yeah, Bloodborne is actually awesome. It's a game I would really, I only played through it once. Huh? Once. And I would love to play that game again, man. I would love to play Bloodborne again. And I hope I get the chance on PlayStation 5, man. I never played the DLC either, and I heard it's like the best part of the game. The, what is it? The old Hunter DLC? Damn. But a topic for another time. Let's focus, we're gonna explore space. This is gonna get crazy. The DLC is one of the hardest according to many. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Bloodborne, man. The board game is coming. By Christmas, it should arrive, man. It's gonna be one hell of a game. It's so big. And expensive. And expensive, but hey. I had a lot of money, I bought a board game for too much. I'll probably never learn the rules of anything like I usually do. Put it on my closet and get pissed about it. But I'm gonna try to learn this fucking game. <laughs> it's gonna get played. I still have the Batman game, I still haven't played it. I can't learn it, it's too much to learn. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Outer Wilds. Wait a minute, hey look at the text, it's moving. I think, I might be crazy, but I think the letters actually are floating away into space. They are, for sure. What the fuck? Hey. New expedition. Let's go. I will tell you um, how far I made it during my playtesting. It's not a long way. It's basically up a few stairs. My name. Wake up. Press X. Alright.
like ah, uh, this is the way the game begins, and it's ah, uh, it looks so cool immediately when I started here. Like, what is that? And what is the things following it? Meteorites? No idea. But it's so beautiful. I love the art style here. I'm happy. I don't know why, but I expected the game to be like super, super realistic looking. Uh, but they went for some kind of... I don't even know what to describe this art style as. It's a little bit cartoony, almost. I like it. I like it a lot. Roast marshmallow. All right. Put away, move stick, extend stick. Oh. Oh. Let's eat that. All right. He didn't like it, apparently. I guess I burnt it. Ooh, here we go. Hey! It's delicious! Alright. Okay! Here we go! The first weird thing! I can roast marshmallows for some reason. Alright! I like it so far! <laughs> what? I didn't see this before. Hey, Keith! Welcome to the show, dude! How are you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well, because this is gonna be a cozy, cozy night. And I'm super happy that you're here, dude. Let's have a chat to Slate. There's our pilot. Back, blah. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So, it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. One thing that I immediately thought about is, I'm talking to an alien. Uh, okay. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's fueled up and ready to go. Are you gonna come with me? Alright. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with a pilot instead of the auto flight system. Ooh. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down, you hear? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory. Before you can lift off, just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Alright, alright. Oh. I'm just gonna ask you as well, Keith. What about you? What are you doing right now? Like, in general, after you finished Below, did you go back to Resident Evil 2? Or are you done with that? Man, it's beautiful! Wow! This is beautiful! It looks so good! Look at this, man! Hello! Micah. Hey, it's you, Technodrome. Slate San, you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I wanna practice with a pro. Ooh, can I see it? Yeah. We recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only, 
less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. So this is as far as I made it last time. Uh, I tried flying this thing and it was super weird man. Fun fact, when you jump, it's not you moving, it's the planet dodging away beneath you. What? That's how the game was coded. Wait a minute. Really? Huh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that's really crazy. So the whole planet is dodging away from me. All right, I like it. Yeah, I'm still getting some frame rate stutters here and there. Fly the model ship. Yeah, that's a neat thing to know. I like it. That's pretty cool. So. I ha I couldn't fly this thing last time, man. I didn't stand a chance. I crashed immediately. How does it work? Up. Down. Horizontal thrust. This is gonna freak me out, man. Oh, it's moving by itself! Woohoohoo! Up, oh, going for the perfect landing! Okay. I think I'm on the ground. Okay, here we go. How the flying? How are you supposed to control this thing, man? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I will move out of the way. Uh. Okay, let's reset it. That didn't work. Flying this little thing is harder than flying the actual ship. Oh, here we go. Get in there! Ooh. No! I had it, man! Shit! I don't know why, but it's tilting all the time. No prize? Okay, I'm gonna try to move to the other. So can I... Hmm... I want to go to the other one as well. Look at that! It flipped! And I don't know why. Don't flip. Get forward, man! More? Come on. Come on. Ba bam! Now, for the final mission, get in there. Hey! Bye bye, bye bye. That's a perfect landing, man. I will be a god at this game, I feel. <laughs> What the... Oh, I don't know. I feel like a child messing around with that. That's funny. My brother bought me a flying helicopter. I still can't fly it, man. It's goddamn impossible. He's a, he's a pro at it. He He's crazy. He can make flips and... Th I, I, I can barely fly straight. It's impossible. Hello, Porphy. Hey, yo, Hatchling. Hatchling? I hear you leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gosan open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst the star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Uh, Alright, I'm fine with this answer. 
Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Thank you very much. All right, all right. Well, I'm supposed to get the launch codes from someone. Rutile? You're blasting off in that thing, huh? Hey, yeah. Yeah, the space programs certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Whoa, satellite camera? This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Earth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. What? Uh, forward? Rear view? Okay. Here we go, I guess. Hey, I got it. I think. Thank you very much. Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. Ah, that's cool. What else do we have here? Ah, another one of these flying things. Hmm. But it's a gorgeous game. It's gorgeous. Hello, Marl. So it's launch day, huh? Hell's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village could be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the word. Oh, he doesn't like the tree. It's fine. Oh, really? Dang. Well, maybe someone needs a new porch or something. A big one. <laughs> All right. Hello. Oh. The Banyo, huh? Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Oh. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see, there's Church drums, Rebex banjo, and Gabro's flute. Maybe these are things I could find? That would be pretty cool. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Ooh, I want that, man. Uh, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were planning their harmonica, playing their ha harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. All right, that's cool. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. I will do that, because I would like to get an instrument of my own. Thank you very much. Observatory? Am I missing anything else here? No? So, for some reason I am... Living with aliens. All right. Wait a minute. Who knows? Maybe I'm an alien too. Because I can speak to them. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker, what's with the radio, child? We wanted to play hide and seek. 
but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we? Please? We'll even let you be it. Okay, let's do it. Woohoo! Okay, here's the rules. Galena and me will hide these radios and you will use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Alright. Not only living, look down. Hey! Hey, I can see myself. I'm an alien too. What? Seriously? I thought I would be a human. What? Okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Ooh. Okay, so I'm supposed to find these people. So this is some kind of like radar thing? Are you down there? Hey, I see you. Wait a minute. Whoa. The game is extremely dark though. Is it supposed to be this dark? Uh, what? Hello? Ah, you found me. But my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both. Alright. Oh, what a loud ass waterfall. Okay, on the hunt, man. Where you at? There you go. I won? I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Okay. I didn't get anything, but hey, I guess it's fine. This might be just tutorial stuff to teach you to play the game. So I can... This is some kind of like... Seek thing. I can find stuff with it. Alright. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Yes, we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. Yeah, for sure. Sound finder, pretty much. All right. That big water planet, Giant's Deep. That's where I'd go. All right. One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. We are getting stuff already, dudes. Wait. Is this a hint? I'm gonna write this shit down, dude. You can change what you're listening to? Listen for and also zoom in. Alright. Thick boy plump. Thanks for the advice. What's up, dude? What's up? Uh, okay. Gabro. Giant's Deep. Are you another uh, Outer Wilds master, huh? They landed their ship easy enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess too dark. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper, to travel down and down, but suddenly Gabro couldn't go any further. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. <laughs> As though exercising its own a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, man. Almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. I, this is gonna be cool. The tentacle of some hideous beast. All right. Is it true, though? <laughs> was there sap wine involved? Ah! I mean, that's what Gabriel said. Anyway, 
Whatever it was, it freaked Gabri out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with ya. I will, I'm gonna have an adventure of my own, Spinal. I've been lurking for a bit. I 100% the game a couple of days ago. Alright, congrats man. That's awesome. What do you feel about it? Did you love it? I've heard a lot of good stuff about this game. And it's beautiful. Like, it's really beautiful. Let's have a look around here. Alright. Let's have a look down here. One of the best games I've ever played. Hey. Hey. <laughs> awesome. I like that. Talk to Moraine. Um, uh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signoscope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I can pick up Traveler's music. Oh, that's cool. Last night I heard Rybex Banyo. Hey, look, look at this. I'm getting, like, free information. This is awesome. I don't know if it's important at all, but I like music. Okay, Rebeck. Banyo. In the Brittle Hollow. Alright. Last night I heard Reeves Banyo coming from the I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of the day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Unknown? Wait. Hey, look at that! <laughs> what? All right, that's really cool. What? The reach on this thing. Oh! I hear something, man. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. It seems to me like the days are moving on quite fast, though. It's already day again. Alright, what's up here? East. No my ruins. Okay. Uh, look at the text, man. East. South. Quantum Grove Crater. The Geyser Mountains. Young Bark Crater. Okay. What is this? Use the Scout Launcher. Aim Launcher. Launch Scout. Put away. Uh. Alright. Whoa! What? Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Oh, there's a goddamn volcano as well. Alright. Retrieve the scout. Come back here. How did I shoot it? There you go. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Well, I guess it's fine. Let's check this this path. There's a floating star or falling star. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. All right. Hmm. Well, I mean. That's pretty cool. I can like explore stuff with that. 
We're basically shooting a camera out to explore. What are you doing? Hey. Hello. You know the path? You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when, I grow, when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. It's dangerous. Ooh. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad, it feels like your whole hand is on fire. Try not to walk in uh, into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Show me. Oh. All right, don't go into that. That seemed like a terrible idea. Whoa. What? Okay. Weird. Yeah. Jaws, you know it. That's a bad idea. Don't jump into that. Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes, man. What? The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Uh, is it the whole thing? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave that be. Zero G cave. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. Oh, that's cool. I've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Ooh, got some. Oh, look at you. Hello. Hey. I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight? I'm a little nervous, are you kidding? I'm a natural dude. Is that so? Funny. I seem to recall the first time you stopped strapped on a jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. Alright. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little uh, last minute Zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't, as long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Is that something I'm gonna have to do? Uh, I'll fix it. Cool, get to it. And try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Oh no, this might be bad. Down we go. <laughs> Down we go. Whoa, wait a minute. What? Depends on much how much you break your ship. The gaming lord. How's the lord doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I'm. I'm. Am I in space? No, I'm not. I'm in a beautiful cave, dude. This is awesome. Wow, it looks so cool. Zero G cave. The movement is super weird in here. Like it's almost like it's a, like it's shunging for some reason. I don't know why. Suit up. 
Return suit. All right. Oh, this is so cool. Let's go. But would I need this if there's zero gravity? Couldn't I just jump around? Oh. Hello? Hey, hey! Nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in. So you're going in there, in the cave? <laughs> what? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine to me. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Oof. Now I got hand sweats. This is a bad sign. He hates the cave. So I got some fuel and O2. Um, hmm. Alright, safe and sound so far. What's up there? Whoa! Oh, alright, nothing. Whoa, it's super weird to fly this thing, man. Here we go. Whoa. 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 What? Uh. Holy crap, man. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. Uh, okay. I need to manage what is going on. Zero G, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm floating around like crazy. This is awesome. Lock on. Hold. Match velocity. All right. So that stopped me in my track. I guess that's good. Oh, I can see. Hmm. I can see like the thruster or something down there. Like how I'm moving it, I guess. Hold. How do I fix it, though? Repair. Alright, 103. Let's go. Oh, it's extremely hard to control. But it's cool. It's really cool. It feels awesome. Uh, like, how do I... Ah, oh, I can go down as well. Yeah. Uh, got it. Alright, now for the next one. Whoa! Oh, I found it, I found it! Lock on! Oh, you get such a crazy momentum when you start flying around! It's crazy! Let's fix this. Training simulation complete. I wanna go through here, man. Alright. Whoa. It's really cool and it's dark as hell. Whoa, there's a cave in here. I'm gonna go through that, man. Whoa! Alright. I'm trying to learn this. You get... You move fast, man, if you just keep thrusting. What? Alright. Holy shit. Uh, it's extremely disorienting. I don't even know where I am, man. <laughs> Did I go back? Let's go back down. I thought this was a cave. I think this is the entrance, dude. It takes some time to getting the hang of it. It's it's awesome, though. Okay, what else can I... I can roll around? Wait a minute. Hold left button and... Ooh. 
Alright. <laughs> oh. Well, okay, this is awesome. This is really cool. I could just be fo fooling around in here forever, dude. Let's go. Uh, down? Down! Here we go. Hey, what do you say now, dude? I did it! Almost! Whew! Hey! Hey, you're back! You need something? Give me the dirt! <laughs> Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. Okay, outside of the village crater. That's new and different. Oh, hey, how about that? Yeah? They were on uh, Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke. So they went to check it out. Safety first, right? Nah, I'm kidding. I said that to Tektite once. Pretty rude. How long they laughed for, if you ask me. Okay. Well, it seems to me like there's gonna be a lot of stuff to uh, check out here. I'm gonna bring this suit with me, man. Ah, he took it off. Alright, alright. This is awesome, so far, and I mean, I'm not even in space yet. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be more stressful when you're hurling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Like, I don't know, a planet? I can see you're itching to get off this rock. So go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now that I put so much time into training, you got it. I have one simple plan for this playthrough. Don't die. All right, let's go. It's so beautiful. I love this place. I'm super happy with the art style here, man. Uh huh. What are you doing? Nothing? Can I swim? Wait a minute. This looks extremely odd. It's like frozen or something. I don't know. Strange. Look at that. What? Huh. Oh, okay. It's rocks, man. It's rocks, man. Have you heard anything about this game before playing? Very little. I basically don't know anything except you're supposed to explore space. And it's supposedly extremely weird. I th like that's that's about it. Bonan verse what? Bonan verse tether. Hello there. What's up? Welcome to Outer Wilds, man. This is crazy already, and I haven't even began exploring. This is awesome. <laughs> Oh, I'm having I'm, I'm already having a blast dude This is a lot of fun All right, I guess I'm supposed to go in there Outer wilds ventures timber hearth first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be internationally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth 
and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon. The Atle Rock. The Atle Rock. Alright. I'm gonna go to the Atle Rock, I promise thee. Oh, look at these. What is this? Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Alright. Clockwise from the top left. Hornfels, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. What? I already talked to some of these. Okay, that's cool. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew. Ben. Curdepay. <laughs> Jordan Frith. Tom. Tom Cummings. Sean. Shark Templar. Alright. Ryan, there's a lot of them. Hello. Hey, hey. It's my favorite astro astronaut, dude. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools. Inaugural? Inaugural? Flight 2? Alright. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think. You'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ooh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm gonna be honest with them. I'm actually terrified. Ah. Don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? What is the dirt? Is that like, what's the story or what's going on? You here to see the new Know My Statue? What is it? You haven't heard? Gabro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep. And Hornfels just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real-life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looked like it, they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, uh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a chip to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Alright. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai. An ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. This is gonna be cool. What? Thousands of years ago? Pretty much? Alright. I got it right. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appears to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species come from or what happened to them. Looks cool, a little bit intimidating. They have three eyes. Well, but we have more, don't we? We have four, man. Still, man. Ooh. All right. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Atle Rock's gravity pulls on, on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Oh. 
Okay. I guess that's cool. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Everything in this game is a physics simulation, which is totally cool. Alright, that's cool. I like it. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. And BAM! If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. What? Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode into a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Wow, there's so much going on here, man. Like, what is that? Hello? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. We heard about that, Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Whoa! Ah, oh, that's awesome! What? Oh! Holy crap! Huh. Oh, that's... it's so cool! Shit! Okay, I guess this is my spaceship or something? The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval cap capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Yeah. I understand, because I flew mine right off the goddamn planet, like a fool. But hey, at least we can collect it, <laughs> somehow. Ooh, bones. What you see here is parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers, and quite unusually, only three eyes. Only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted, adapted for uh, living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Herthians could have been descended from no Nomian ancest ancestors. All right. There's a lot of uh, difficult words here. I apologize for my bad English here, man. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Alright. And this is... I don't know, it looks like a child's bed. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorati decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe, or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were Nomai born in our solar system? This is interesting, I don't know. Or were they born 
among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno Archaeological <laughs> Xeno Archaeological Expeditions. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute, it's doing it for me. What? Translate? Cassava? We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. And she says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh. Okay, what happened? Fortunately, the Atlarok's lack of uh, atmosphere will feel calibration simple. Will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Can I read that? Hmm. That might just be some kind of like... Symbol, I guess? This piece of know my writing was essential in deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, know my often branches... What? The text of often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tend to be written by a different author. Wow. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, I think I'm done here. I just want to have a look outside here. Hey! Hey! Uh, hey! What are you doing? Is it gonna land on me? Oh! Huh? I like you, Rock. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, that's cool. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The high, uh, the level headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that the effect is extremely creepy. It's so cool! Huh. Let's go. I need the codes, man. Ooh. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? So many questions to be answered. I don't know, man. I know nothing of space. Mm hmm. View map. You are here. All right. Holy shit. What is that star glowing outside of the circles, man? What is that? Here's the brittle hollow. The dark bramble. Timber hearth. The hourglass twins. The sun. And Giant's Deep. Oh, Giant's Deep is blinking. I think. Okay, this is really cool. Rotate, zoom. Ooh. Whoa.
What is that? This is something secret for sure, man. Wow. Okay, I don't understand what was also, man. And I guess it's moving, like, in real time. That's super cool. Yo. Step back, please. You're very close. <laughs> there you are. I just finished pre-flight observations. And local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut <laughs> off the ground. And you'll be our first, first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. The first one, man. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan in space? I wanna go where... I wanna go somewhere no one has ever gone before. That sounds cool, man. Starbase. That's where we're going. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interlooper before, you know? Perhaps you'll be the first. The interlooper. I must say, should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either. Oh. For what you'll find? Or excellent reasons. Well then. Looks like... All that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. Yeah, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to die in space. No way. I'm gonna survive. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Well, I guess it's time. Let's go. Uh, all right. Where's the exit here? What?